Second Life is a 3D virtual world. You create a character on your computer and interact with other people all over the world. People who use Second Life say it's filled with experiences and opportunities you might not get in the real world. More and more, universities and colleges around the world use Second Life to connect students and professors outside the classroom. In today's Hot Off the Web report, News 8's Lauren McDonough shows us how RIT is using Second Life as a teaching tool. RIT is the first college in our area to use Second Life. It's up and running at 300 universities and RIT officials hope that students that use Second Life will get more out of the classes they're taking. Students can just hang out or talk about classes and group projects. If they've got a tough math problem to solve, they can fly to the whiteboards and work together to figure it out. Teachers also supplement their classwork with Second Life projects. So they come to us and they say, I'd, I'd like to build this. I'd like to show it to them in a 3D environment so that they can interact with it. Students designed Second Life at RIT and they're the ones working with teachers to build their projects. The next projects are going to be things that don't exist in the real world. We're working on actually an economic simulation that the students will go in and walk down one street and experience a communist society, walk down another street, experience a capitalist society, and walk down a third street and experience a socialist society. That's obviously not something that we can easily bring to the fingertips of students to experience, but in Second Life we can. So over the years I think it'll just expand into more um, really interesting projects that you couldn't do anywhere else other than a 3D environment. Come this Wednesday, you can experience RIT Island for yourself. Just download Second Life and teleport there. I put a link to Second Life's website as well as RIT's page about Second Life on our website. Head to rochesterhomepage.net and click on this story for those links. I'm Lauren McDonough for What's Hot Off the Web.